Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 160. And in this segment, we're going to be going to Bristol for our next week of racing. And yes, I'm going to be doing the cup race here because uh, I qualified well. Spoiler alert. But first, we have a bush race to do. So let's go to Bristol for the Food City 250 Bush Series race extravaganza welcome to bristol motor speedway as ea sports presents today's running of the food city 250. first opened in 1961 bristol has played host to some of the sport's most exciting and heated races this track has torn friendships and fueled rivalries for decades tonight's race should offer the same drama we've come to expect here at the world's fastest half mile more than 100,000 fans are here today to see some of the best NASCAR Bush Series racing of the year here in Tennessee's Thunder Valley. Now, let's take you trackside for the most famous words in all of racing. All right, all right, all right. So, here we go. Qualified on the pole for this race, so that's good. <laughs> it's quite good. I need a good Bush race after... I just need a good race in general after fucking those Michigan races. Just, uh... Also, I haven't had very many... I've kind of had a string of poor bush runs lately. So hopefully this changes that. Anyways, away we go for 62 laps around Bristol. The world's fastest half mile, and I have fucked it into turn three. Alright, can I clear Dwayne before turn one? Yes, I can. Oh, he's right there on my ass, though. Whoop, gotta remember, turn t exit of turn two is uh, tighter than the exit of turn four. Gotta remember that. I feel like I'm literally the only person that talks about the fact that Bristol has a very slight egg shape to it. Like, it's not a perfect oval. I'm also probably the only person who cares about that. I mean, you can, like I said, you can see it in the map. The egg. Oh shit. The apron. Don't want to go there. Right, let's try to focus here. Might be able to pull a little bit of a gap if I can, you know, drive well. Excellent. Egg returns home. That was a cool game. Not gonna lie. My OCD cares. Oh no. A little too much into turn three. Luckily, I was able to stay in front of Hamilton. So far, so good. Just barely holding on to the lead. Just barely. Bristol looks fantastic in this game. Yes, it does. Looks really nice. I'm kind of sad about the lack of flash bulbs, considering how many fucking people are here. Look at this turnout for a bush race. The whole Coliseum is full. It's okay, at the end of the race there will be flash bulbs that, like, like mad. It's honestly pretty cool. Remember flash photography? That was kind of one of the best things about like watching night racing is just seeing all the flash photography in the grandstands. Oh shit. Locked it up in turn one. At least I'm not holding up the entire field. We kind of have a slight breakaway here between myself and Hamilton. By slight, I mean it's like one car length. Is this the track from Cars? I mean, 
one of the tracks from Cars is based off of this track. Oh no. Fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh, damn it. I couldn't dive bomb myself at Hamilton. Ah, uh, I fucked it. Alright. I went for the aggressive dive bomb to try to clear him into turn three, and it didn't work at all. Just barely, though. Whoopsie. Oh well. Yeah, this is the Rusty's 500. Kerchow. Korchugu. Anyways, we're done with the first ha uh, quarter of this race. Is this loss? Not quite. Again, there is a tr th there is a track in Cars, at least Cars One, that is based off of this track. You know, half mile concrete oval. I, actually, I can't remember if it was concrete or not in Cars. And I fucked it. All right, I'm just gonna let Ashton go by. There's nothing I can do to defend that. So, I lost the lead. Only took 20 laps. Which is a little longer than I was expecting to hold on to the lead. In fact, I'm about to take this bitch back. Maybe. Come on, and clear. Got him. Sweet. Cobbler back to P1. Oh, hey, Dwayne's out of the race, I just noticed. I just saw him on pit lane. Oh, no, wait, no. Never mind. The, uh... Undercutters are pitting. Hey, halfway on fuel. Very close to halfway in the race. What are you doing, Ashton? He's trying to pass me on the apron. Still turning left or is right today. No, I'm going right. Can't you tell? I just mirrored the video feed so it looks like I'm turning left. So hello Michael, welcome to the stream. Shit. Colts are beating Seattle, but Colts aren't supposed to be good. The rocks are just big sand. Damn it, Q. Blaney just, Dave Blaney just won at Knoxville. Hell yeah. That's awesome. And before Bill Elliott wins at Road America. Here, yes, Dave just like to lurk. That is no problem, Michael. You can lurk all you desire. Oh my god. And into the wall. And back into second. Tire wear is starting to become a, a thing that is hindering my performance. Right on cue. Rain is just boneless ocean water. Okay. That's fine, car. You can just not steer. It's not even understeer. That was just no steer. I think it's time to pit. Yeah, I'm going in. There we go. Loosen up the car just a skosh. Now, let's get our fresh tires, full tank of gas, and go. Maybe try to win this race. Don't know. Don't know if I'll be able to, but 
gonna go for it. So, away we go. Oh, I've already lost two spots. With Dwayne and Casey passing me. That's a good sign. Yeah. Anyone know where to order boneless pizza? Anywhere. Just gotta ask for boneless. Can I get that, uh, boneless? Alright, so I think I might still be on pace for a top five, but a win is out of the question. Dang, I'm not gonna get my, like, eighth bush win of the season here. How dare. Gonna beat Hamilton out though. Yeah. Got the undercut on Bobby. And I got the underneath on Casey. That double move. All right. So now I think I'm effectively in second now. Actually. Oh man, we have a caution. Okay. Well, shit. Where is that going to put me? Because, <laughs> uh... The, oh. Wow, that was such an insignificant thing. <laughs> Alright. Well, shit. Alright, well, no pitting then. Don't need to pit. Because I've, you know, already done my service for the race. So, well, I'm a lap down. Paul Menard is in the lead. And I'm in 17th, so... Looks like 15th is going to be the best I can finish, if I can get along Dwayne in that other car. Oh well, shit happens. Completely out of my control. So much for that top five. That's how you Bristol, right? You drive on the apron, right? Oh, excuse me, Paul. Sorry. It's weird seeing Paul Menard in a driving a Menard's car that isn't neon yellow. Like, offensively neon yellow. get myself into the top 15. One man stands in my way. Oh. Give him the old Bristol dump and run. Except it didn't work out. This is not how you Bristol... At least in the 2004 version of Bristol. Ah. He's going to defend that position very heavily, I see. Get the dive, get the dive. Nope, can't quite get the dive. And hold the line. Could have got the dive, but I would have washed up into him. Get all washed up. Moved up the track into him. Now I got him. Maybe. 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 Got him. Top 15. Hell yeah. 
Ten laps to go. And caution plus, I know, right? Not gonna get one, but it'd be nice. Of course, I don't think there's enough laps left in the race where I would be even be able to gain many, if any, positions if a caution happened. Whoa, lockup. Well, oh, looks like someone's blown up. And for a back marker. Yep, it was a, he was already a lap down. Okay. Or I was already ahead of him. Dang. So I thought I'd get a free 14th spot there, but no. Damn it. Keep making mistakes. I mean, not that it matters, but you know. Three to go. Oh god. Okay. He's gonna take the win. Is it gonna be Menard? Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. I used up my tires. Alright, Menard's gonna win the race. And I'm gonna take 15th. Yeah. Before everyone blows up. Talladega all over again. Everyone runs out of gas. Pulls over. Alright, well, that was a good race that, without a very good result due to unfortunate caution timing, it's fine. It's fine. So, Paul Minard wins the race. Barely beating Johnny Sauter. And there I am, 15th place. I think I led the most laps. Not that it matters, but, you know, whatever. Still. So who was the car that retired? It was Hammock. Okay. Cool. Ah, uh, we get the sad cutscene celebrating. Yeah, yeah, yep. Paul Menard is totally black, by the way. Very accurate depiction of him. Uh, okie dokie, so, there's that. Decent race. Got some of my fans back at least. And still six in points though, only three behind Casey Atwood now. Not that it matters, but hey, there's that. So, that's cool. And that will conclude this segment, so. Yeah, next time we'll move on to the cup race at Bristol. So stay tuned for that.